for periods three and seven in the fall semester of 2023. I just wanted to make a short video about what to do if these switches are not working and BJ is out. First and foremost, anytime you change um, where the switches the, uh, are, like if to configure it for where the students' uh, hands more comfortably are that day, um, please don't ever, ever pull on the switch directly. It will move, but it wears down uh, the joints inside. So what you need to do, which I don't know if I can do with one hand uh, without a bit of disaster, so I hope this is somewhat comical, um, is move this counterclockwise, okay, and everything will go limp, and then you position it where you would like it to be, and then lock it back up. These two students that we're uh, talking about this semester use um, a two-switch mechanism. So the red one is a space bar usually, and the green one is an enter key. All right, so one thing to check is the app working. So if you use the space bar and the enter key, this should be the red switch and the green switch. So first, I guess, make sure that's working. Otherwise, something's wrong with the app. Maybe the app was set to uh, mouse mode or something. Maybe it's one switch. Uh, just make sure that the app is set for two switch, um, which you've probably done in class before. Uh, the red switch should have a light. Sorry, both switches should have a light that comes on. If that doesn't come on, I'll unscrew the red top and make sure the on off switch is set to on. All right, which by the way, you can leave it on when you leave for the day. Um, it really doesn't drain battery if the switch isn't being used. So, anyway, um, make sure that's on. Uh, and if you are feeling really crazy, you can uh, detach these and try to find the two AAA batteries inside because those might be out. They don't go out very often, but it happens about once a semester usually. Um, these batteries go out a lot more, but I'll, I'll get to that later. Okay, so red light's coming on, so that's good. All right, next thing, are these red lights coming on? So if I hit the green switch, I should see that red light come on on the green one. If I don't, either this switch is off, or these AA batteries, again, those are AAA, these AA batteries probably need to be replaced. Um, so if you've got some or the office has some, or if I left my thing unlocked, the leftmost cabinet is where I keep the double A's. So that's another thing to check. Uh, and when I hit the red switch, does the red light come on? Okay. Um, so let's say that's working. Um, next thing to check, this is set to yellow, which means it's yellow strip down here. Okay. In other words, the red switch is set to click and the green switch is set to F3. Whatever that means. Okay, I don't have an app that uses that. Um, so I will hit the top button to change that. All right, so like if I'm on green, right now the red switch is set to up arrow. The uh, other switch is set to down arrow. So hopefully that's helpful. More often than not, we're configured for blue. I don't know how blue that looks on my camera. Sorry, it's my phone. Um, but this would be space and enter, like I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Um, next thing to check, if you've done all that and the thing's not responding, or if it's just blinking colors real fast, what I normally have to do is find the cord, unplug it, count to five, plug it back in a different slot, and that will make it reset. Also changes it back to yellow, so I'll have to change back to blue. When the student using this computer comes in in the morning, um, the headphones may be plugged in, in which case you're not going to hear anything. So. Make sure you do that. The student in period eight may request headphones. Well, frequently does. Uh, so I'll hopefully they'll be there. If they're not, find that shelf over in the corner of the room. On the left side, you should find lots of different headphones to pick from. The student at number four at the back left of the room uses a capacitive blue switch. It's taped to the table. So that would be needed for period three. The student in period seven, however, um, needs it unplugged because uh, the elbow always hits it while trying to type. So in period seven, it comes unplugged. So in period three, you may need to plug it back in. Um, also, the period three students' uh, activities may look very different from the other ones, but they'll pop up automatically, like the others do, mostly. 